What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a masking transition in LumaFusion. I've made a masking tutorial before, um, but this one is more specific to a transition between two shots. So it's when you film and you go behind an object and um, as that object passes by and reveals the other side of that object, it will be another clip, another video instead of what actually is there. So let's head on over to the iPad. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do a masking transition here in LumaFusion. As you can see, I moved the camera behind uh, the bars of my scooter to cover um, most of the screen, but it doesn't cover the whole screen and uh, that's why we are doing this masking transition. So, um, as this covers uh, the screen and goes by, we're gonna replace right here what you see here with um, a green screen, which is eventually going to be the next clip, which is this. After we swipe through this, it will reveal uh, this one, this clip. What you're going to first need to do is when you go out and film, you need to move your camera in the direction behind something, any object, a tree, a rock, anything that will kind of cover most of your frame. It does not have to cover the whole frame though because we are doing this um, masking transition. What you're gonna need to do is add a overlay title, um, drag it over the spot to where the first um, clip shows right here on the right. So the first clip is right about there I'm just gonna start it right here um, because that's when I'm gonna need it right here is when it starts um, so we're going to edit remove the text and then you're going to add a shape um, turn that shape to green and um, leave this right here and go to size and position and as you can see it's right here um, and we're going to go to the frame to where it starts showing the other side which is about right here you can start seeing the trees so then you're going to take this and move it around however you need to to just barely touch what is being shown of the next frame so you can put it on an angle sometimes you might need to have more than one shape to like kind of curve around in this case I think I'm doing pretty good so far um, I'm gonna just have it barely showing like this so then you're gonna make a keyframe and go to the next frame and as you can see I need to move it more um, and then you're gonna constantly do this um, until the whole screen is green so I'm gonna move the position X a little bit and have it you know cover more so that looks good right about there go to the next frame as you can see you can keep going through the frames and it's gonna get more and more so this is pretty much just a long process of going to the next frame and scooching over uh, this kind of just like that to cover what you need to you know cover and you can obviously tilt it and other stuff. So I'm probably going to speed up this process because it's just a long ongoing thing. Okay, so I just finished up and um, this is what it looks like uh, after I did all of the green screening and moving it each uh, frame uh, to cover the other side of it. Uh, this is just me scrolling through it. So as you can see, it kind of tilts and it does different stuff as it goes all the way. So if I were to play it, it'd just be this. So as you can see, I cover um, the other side of it. So if I were to go back, uh, this would what this is what it would look like so far. So as you can see, it kind of jerk and go like start going like really fast or whatever. So uh, you can like probably slow that down and kind of tweak that a little bit as I kind of jerk. So you're just gonna export your video, which is just this. And um, so oh nope. So I'm going to um, export that video. And uh, you can delete everything that you have in there. I'm gonna go get it. All right, so I got my video. Um, and now I'm gonna go find that other video I had because I had to get rid of it. Okay, so I got my other video uh, right here, which is gonna be the second one. So I have um, this, which is my video that has the green already in it. 
and then I have my other shot. So then what you're gonna do is um, bring the shot with the green screen uh, and put it above the other um, video that you want to come through the green. So then what you're gonna do, um, since uh, right here, this is what I want to play right here on my video is right here and this is where the green is coming. So this is gonna reveal the wrong part of my video. I'm gonna add a main title. Um, make it like the same length as this video or whatever. Um, and draw it back to win the first sighting of the green. which would be right here. So this video will play and then reveal um, what is underneath right here. The main title is just to fill in this empty space down here. Um, so what you're gonna do is go into edit on the uh, top one, go to color and effects, and then the keyhole right up here and click green screen key. And um, this will replace whatever was green with the shot below it. So uh, I'm gonna scroll through here. He jumps back in. And as you can see, this right here is my other shot of um, him coming back up in the other video. See this line right here, it's kind of direct. So I can change the edge blur radius, which is just kind of makes it a little bit more um, blurry, which is kind of what we want. Also the erosion distance, where if you look at this line right here, and if we move it, it kind of covers it a little bit. Probably make a cut like right here so to know that this is when the green screen starts. So what you could probably do is get rid of this. So what you can do is, um, I got rid of that main title. I realized I didn't need to do that. Um, you can just cut where the first um, green screen starts, which is right here, and um, put this one in front and then move that below it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really hope you learned how to do a masking transition in LumaFusion. Uh, it can be quite difficult, but I tried to show it the easiest way possible. And if you wanna enter a camera bag giveaway, click right here. I have a whole video on how to enter and everything. Once I get to 250 subscribers, I will be giving away a camera backpack to one of you guys. And I'm really excited for that to happen. Smash that subscribe button and we can do this giveaway soon. Stay tuned for more LumaFusion tutorials and I'll see you next Thursday.